Hmm. Don't want to forget to use that vegetable sandwich at some point as well. Oops. Careful. that? Shirazard, is that you? Well, this is an unlikely place to run into the Silver Streak. Right back at ya. I thought you were in the Royal City. But what are you... But here... But are you here to look into the airliner incident? I don't know why that was so hard to say. Nope, I'm here on some chump errands. But speaking of the incident, I heard it was the work of Sky Bandits. Still, if you're here on the job, then I guess I don't have to worry about it myself. Good luck. Is that all you gotta say? I'm sure you've heard that Cassius might have been taken hostage, right? Yeah, he doesn't believe it either. Anybody saying that is severely mistaken. Uh, well, you're more or less correct. Well, I'm sure you'll be surprised to hear that these brats are Cosis's kids. Yeah, that's a surprise, all right. So these are the old man's kids. Hmm, hard to believe it. This boy with the black hair is one thing, but the girl really looks like an amateur. Are you sure she's really Cassius's daughter? I don't know, I think she takes much more strongly after her father. TBH. <laughs> and I have to warn you. <laughs> Indeed. Is that a fact? Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Well, take easy, Charizard. Be careful not to let these brats drag you down. Yeah, yeah. And make sure not to rush into any trouble yourself either. Heh, <laughs> I'll keep those words in mind. I see, so that was Heavy Blade Agate. Agate Krosner, Senior Bracer in the Bracer Guild. He works in all regions and isn't affiliated with any specific branch. His massive blade is said to be capable of slicing a monster in two with a single slash. I'll just tell you right now, he's one tough customer. Whatever, I don't care how tough he is, he's still a rude jerk. Come to think of it, how does he know Dad anyway? He seems to think highly of Dad's ability, but even so, he didn't seem to like him all that much. There are a number of things in his past I can't go into, and those things are the reason why he feels that way about your father. Hmm. Lucius seems to know the general as well. We haven't heard the full story there either. Uh, I don't remember what you dropped, so let's fight one. I seem to recall you weren't worth much when I came here the first time. But... It doesn't hurt to check. Especially when I need to fill out my not much XP. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't mind. Getting more water is good, but... And s same for AP, but I don't think it's- it's probably not worth fighting everyone, unless they get in my way. Hi. 
Oh, they're really fast, too. we can find about the sightings. People would be suspicious of us if we did that all of a sudden. I think we should talk to the Elder first and see what he has to say. Uh, wait a second. I just thought of something. Um. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to check which ornaments I had. Nothing, nothing is immediately coming up that. This village is close to the border, and was one of the first places to be occupied during the war. There were so many victims back then, and the deep wounds in people's hearts still have yet to heal. Oh no, I already... hasn't come over recently. I wonder if something happened. If you're looking for the village elder's house, it's just up the hill. Um, I I'd like to recommend the squeeze juice in the bar on the second floor if I could. Please give it a try if you'd like. Uh Yeah, this time I'll do this. I think it I think it's worth it. <laughs> Welcome! If you're here for a drink, I recommend you try our various fruit wines. Our ingredients are the freshest and finest in all of Liberal. Yes, that's right. We just opened the place recently. I hope to come visit often. Let's see. The pomegranate wine and apricot tart set are both delightful. <laughs> Speaking with local residents can net us some information as well. Also, food! I don't know, like... I think I think it's a 50-50 to be honest. Ah yes, these are both new. Cures petrify. Oof. That's scary sounding. Uh I have run out of money again. So There we go. If you're looking for my husband, he's always in the orchard. Even when I call him in for meals, he ends up coming in an hour later. By that time, his meal is already cold. I've been growing fruit here ever since this village was alive with this mining industry. When it comes to growing delicious fruit, I have no equal in this village! <laughs> Nobody believes me. It wasn't a dream either. Okay, you're the one who saw the ship, I take it. I'm actually looking to get out of the orchard business and start again as a merchant in Bosek. But there's still a number of problems hanging over this village. And if I can't resolve them, I just won't be able to leave this place. That's why my wife and son have gone ahead of me. 
I moved to this village a number of years ago because I wanted to be an orchard farmer. I even purchased a new set of pharma equipment, which I've been studying how to use. I'm going to grow and produce more fruit than anyone else! My husband, Pesca, is really dedicated to his research. He works by day in the orchard and researches various means of cultivation by night. Have you visited the grave? That large tombstone is dedicated to the victims who died in the Hundred Day War. Ten years ago, this village suffered greatly because of the fighting. And even today, I still see that horrific scene sometimes in my dreams. Six righteous people. I see you're all together. What brings you all here today? Are you here for a visit? No, not exactly. We're actually here on business. Although, if possible, I'd really like a glass of your fruit wine. Oh, things in the world never go like that you expect, do they? By the way, I never got a chance to ask you until now, but... You don't happen to be one of Agate's companions, do you? Well, we're all members of the same guild, but we're not exactly companions. We know him by face, and that's probably it. So he's traveling by himself. Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder if a gate has a history here. Oh, it's nothing, really. Please pardon my expression. Anyway, what brings you to this rural village of ours? Don't tell me another dangerous monster showed up in the area. I didn't really deal with the first one, but... <laughs> uh, no, actually, we're in the middle of an investigation concerning the missing airliner. We came here because we heard that there was a report of some kind of sighting. Mm-hmm. Well, what about the person who saw the silhouette? It was one of the children in the village here, a boy named Louis. He apparently saw some suspicious shadow markings making their way across the sky in the night of the incident. But he's a kid anyway you think about it. So he must have... may have. Mmm... I don't really like that. Uh, I think that is like a really stupid response to take to this. I mean, maybe, maybe on another night, he's he might have saw seen like a big animal or something that was flying and mistaken it for something else. But for this to have happened right when the airship went away, it's obviously re like I, 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 it's not necessarily related, but I feel like it's pretty strongly suggests that he saw something. And to just disregard it out of hand because he's a kid is like, that is really arrogant. <laughs> Heat of flames, burning flesh, and the charred smell of blackened bones. And miss the screams and cries of the villagers and the children. And no matter how many years pass, the terrible events of the war remain ingrained in my mind. Well, let's go talk to the kid. Huh? I haven't seen you guys around here before. Are you merchants? Here to buy some fruit? 
we're here for a different reason. As a matter of fact, we're bracers! I don't know, you don't look all that strong to me. Uh, wow, okay. You're gonna end up in the water if you keep that up. But after, hmm. Estelle, stop showing off. Uh, I guess it worked. Now how about another amazing dim- Estelle, don't get carried away. We heard from the village elder. He said you saw some kind of flying shadow. Do you think you could tell us a little bit about it? The soldiers from the army already searched the place and didn't find anything. That's fine. We're not worried about that. Do you think you could just tell us what you saw? In as much detail as you can remember. You see, I like watching the stars at night. So I often sneak out of my house at night to come here and look at them. And the other night, while I was out here, I saw two shadow- two! Hmm, that's interesting. That's very interesting. They were different sizes, too. Kind of like my mom leading a kid. So, the one that was in the lead was the larger one, then. Hmm. The two shadows just kept on flying north. Until I couldn't see them anymore. Okay, well, that's where I was gonna go. The soldiers from the army supposedly searched the trail, but didn't come up with anything. That's why they said I must have just been dreaming. So what you're saying is they didn't- they half-assed the search job, and then they said you were lying because you were a kid. What incompetent assholes! What? The soldiers are... These soldiers are fucking awful. Okay, Estelle, that is perpetuating harmful gender stereotypes. Cut that right out. If, it, if crying makes him feel better, then he should cry. But also, yeah, this. <laughs> Let's focus on the task at hand. It looks like we've got stuff to do. Right. Let's hurry and get into the trail behind the village and see what we can find. And we will absolutely do that next time! Because, like, I've been streaming for, like, five hours straight. I'm, I'm tired and hungry, so... This is as great as graceful a spot to stop as I think I'll find. So I'm gonna stop here. But uh, I do. Hmm. Actually, I might be busy next weekend. I'm gonna try to stream sometime again, sometime in the next week. We'll see when it happens. And I mean, like, stream this because I'm probably gonna stream Blood Bowl in the next week. But uh, yeah. Uh, until next time. This has been Chaos Blue, and have a good day, morning, evening, or night, or whatever other time it may be where you are. Bye!